So you ready for a coffee break craft? I'm always ready. Good. We're going to do some handkerchief art. Okay. Mainly because um, I was able to get a collection of lovely handkerchiefs from my grandmother. Oh, look and, at those. you know, I have had them sitting in a box. Look at, I mean, the outline of this is gorgeous. The really colors amazing. are beautiful. This is one of many, as you can see. I mean, the designs are gorgeous. Do you remember your grandmother having something like this, or maybe an aunt, maybe your mother oh, my even? Mom. When we yeah. go to church, we'd always have a beautiful handkerchief with her. They're gorgeous. Maybe so it's something that needs to come back. I there's, agree. There's something very elegant and just it's beautiful. A little about bit of it. beauty with that. So what do you got going well, here? In an effort to get them out of the box and to right. do something with them, we started looking around and she actually had several lace handkerchiefs. And I wanted to find a frame that was very little frame, had a dark background so that of course you would see the lace, you know, the intricacy I guess of the lace and be able to hang it. We found this frame and it has worked beautifully and it goes so quickly I'm going to do it right in front of your eyes. Very nice. This is called a composition photo frame. It's a 12 by 12 which worked perfectly for the handkerchiefs. All you need to do is grab the corners of these, mm -hmm. pull them apart, and you kind of push the glass up out of the corners. Work your way around, and this is real glass, it's not plastic, right. although the frame is plastic. Once you get the glass loose, which I'm very close here, I can pull this out. I'll hold that for you. Perfect. Okay. Remove the advertisement paper. I wish you'd tell folks we bought this at a Joanne store if yes. you're looking for that. Yes. Um, and it came with kind of this gray, not so pretty little piece of cardboard. And so I wanted it to be on a dark background. I basically cut a piece of felt exactly the same size. And when I was playing with this, <laughs> I turned it over and it was black. <laughs> Good things happen. <laughs> Yes. That worked out great. So now I have this square of black felt I have to do something mm -hmm. with. Another Coffee Break craft. There you go. <laughs> Take the pretty handkerchief and I'm just going to place it right in the center here. You know, kind of spaces, space it oh, as light. well as I can. Perfect size. And I did try to iron this, but I wanted to be real careful with it. Right. And I think the glass is going to hold a little bit of those folds down. And place the glass back in. And you just work your way back around? Work your way around, pushing the glass down into the little groove in mm -hmm. the areas where it's... There we go. I heard that snap in. Yeah. Look at that. And then it's as easy as... Here's the little that, hanging device and that took voila. That to do. Oh, I know. That's why I thought it was so neat. Hang them in a hallway, in a bedroom. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to... I mean, this is almost like artwork. I believe so. And a and great way to sort of have good memories. Your grandmother. That's right. These are beautiful, and I'm sure you can pick these up at a, an antique shop where you can find... Um, or maybe a consignment shop, you can find handkerchiefs. That's a good idea. We're actually going to do another project that I'm going to help Sherry with. We're going to make a potpourri sachet. Sachet, yeah. And we've already had a little bit of bowl of potpourri that Sherry had. And look at this, we found a beautiful handkerchief here. Is that how you open it there? Yeah, that's right. How beautiful that is. Now, what's the steps for this? You're going to well, have to help me out. Well, okay. We're I'm trying to pick up on this bright pink here, and I don't want the potpourri to actually touch the handkerchief if I can help it. Oh, sure. So I have, I bought some real bright pink, I'll hold it against there okay. so you can see it, netting, and I have, I'm just doubling it over. This is extremely inexpensive, and so I have a double piece you here. You cut it this, a square out already. Yes. I want, basically, really want you to set your handkerchief down That's with the right first. side Yes, yep. facing underneath. Okay, did a little bit of an ironing, but not much. Right, you don't want to hurt them. Um, place the netting over the top, and do you see I have the netting a little bit wider? Yep, yep. Because when we bunch this up, I want that netting to sure. come up at the top. Then we just put our Sprinkle potpourri. Some potpourri in there, not too much, because no. it probably doesn't take a lot. And we want it, but we want it to be, look full. It smells great. It does, yeah, doesn't it? You did beautiful. a good job. Can I just put it all in? Sure, I think you did. Let's use it up. I think you got just okay. the right amount. Okay. And then, let's see, should we have our ribbon ready? Sure. We're going to tie this up with ribbon. Cut the little tape off at the end there. Okay. And maybe we'll twist around a couple times, make a pretty bow. Give me quite a bit and then we'll cut off if we need to. Okay. All right, so we have this prepared. You want to work together pulling sure. up corner to corner. Sure. 
maybe opposite corners. Okay. okay. Got that? All right. Yeah. And I'll grab this one. I'll bring both right. of them up to Perfect. you. Perfect. There we go. Very nice. You might want to show them how we've got that looking so far. And then I'm just going to, the, the edges that are kind of sticking out, I'm going to pull in. Okay. And eventually we're going to grasp it here in the center. Okay. And I'll try to make this into a little pouch. Now while I'm holding it here, I'm going to gently turn it and try to gather it. Make sure I have some of the long, pretty corners sticking out. I'm kind of dressing it a little bit. And I, it looks like I have a little bit too much of the netting, but I'll deal with that in a minute. Okay, I have a nice round little ball here. I'm going to take our ribbon. And let's, let's leave like something long hanging. And I'm going to go around a couple times since it is thin. Hold that potpourri in there. I want my little polka dots to show though. It's three. I'll go around one more time. And I think I can set this down. And we'll tie it here. You know what? I'm going to knot it. Let's just think ahead here. Sure, why not? I'll hold it together better, don't you think? Well, you don't stand a chance of it falling. Right. Breaking open. And then a pretty little bow. And then I think you have a nice little addition to this, don't you? I think so. That looks great. All right. Well, I think it looks adorable, it don't does. you? Maybe we don't cut some of this off. I don't think, I think so. It's, I think it's kind of nice to have it. It's bright and colorful. Yeah. Okay. Well, what kind of addition? How, did I do the bow all right for what you want to add? Yeah, it looks very nice. Now, these are just little trinkets that I found at the home, at the Joann's, and they're like little charms. Well, you I think they're, you would make necklaces out of them. Necklaces? Yeah. Okay. And it just comes in a small little bag. I think we paid like a buck ninety-nine for these. Yeah, how many is in there? Three, four, yeah, something like that? A few. I'll just open these up a little just bit. Just little, okay. Like that. And we got a heart, and we got all sorts of little shapes. I don't know if you can see that, but we'll, we'll get a close up after I. And then I would just feed this through, like so. Do you think? And we would yeah. pull them all the way up? Um, oh, it's pretty. It's pretty like that. And then would you knot it there? Yep, to hold it in place. Okay, so I'd kind of go up through here and like that. Right? Yep. Is that far enough? Very up? nicely done. There we go. That's adorable. Should we add another one or is one enough? Maybe Probably one's enough because we have enough. lots of hankies. We, we'll yeah. use those on others. <laughs> I think that looks fantastic. Should so, we cut these down a little bit? Yep. And do a little angle? Yep. Make it right here. delicate. Absolutely. Oh, very nice. And Anywhere there. Beautiful. Okay. Look at that. Now you've made an adorable little sachet. What a wonderful little gift. Yes, absolutely. Yes, give these to your grandchildren, your children, and tell them that this handkerchief came from their great-grandmother or great-great-grandmother. Would be a wonderful gift. Now, to move one step further, okay. I have four, five, six, something like that um, handkerchiefs here that are in the yellow range. Okay. Kind of see the colors as I go through them here. And I thought she had so many of them in this pretty yellow tone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attach them together in a long line, okay. overlapping a little bit and using some um, iron-on interfacing and create a very pretty runner. Now if you'd like to make that particular project, go over to the craft area and look, look under handkerchief art. Very lovely. You know, handkerchief was the hardest word for me to spell in third grade. Was it one of your spelling words? It was one of my spelling words. Can you words. spell it now? No. 